We're going to start the show this week, actually in Southern California, believe it or not, uh, with a news item from the University of Southern California, USC. What really causes workplace stress? USC study aims in a more productive society is the full name of this piece, which appeared last month on USC News. We republished the article from their blog in the Tuesday issue of the Quality Digest newsletter. The study in question is being organized at USC's Viterbi School of Engineering's Information Sciences Institute in collaboration with Keck Medicine at USC and the USC Dornsif College of Letters, Arts, and Sciences. The multidisciplinary team conducting the research is led by Srikanth Narayan, a research director and professor of electrical engineering at the Information Sciences Institute. One of the interesting things about Narayan is that although he teaches electrical engineering, he's an electrical engineer, his primary field of study is actually using technology to study human behavior. Very interesting. Uh, now that talent is going to come into use because Narayan and his team are studying 250 nurses from Keck Medicine, which is a USC medical school and, and the USC hospital, uh, to determine how stress affects their work performance. Using a combination of sensors, cognitive assessments, and daily surveys, researchers will track metrics such as quality of sleep, self-assessed work performance, and social interactions. Of course, nurses, as we all know, have a high-stress job, often requiring 12-hour shifts. So this 10-week study is going to provide some really good insight into how stress and other factors affect people that are on the job. Using this data, says Narayan, we can see how your body actually responds to stressors in the environment. And the team hopes to eventually accumulate psychological insights that could justify the implementation of positive workplace interventions that could lower stress and boost employee well-being and morale overall. This project showcases what USC Viterbi Dean Yanis C. Yorsos calls, quote, engineering plus, which is defined as the power of engineering to advance other disciplines. And I would say that this survey, and especially Narayan's leadership of it, is really an excellent example of that very principle in action, as we know. I mean, engineering really underpins everything in, in modern, the modern world of ours. And I think that this very study, the survey that they're doing over at USC, really shows how engineers and engineering principles can help to uh, kind of un, you know, unveil or, or reveal uh, some of the, uh, the human factors that go into work, in this case, stress in the workplace. So really good, really important work there being done by the team at, at USC and, and Narayan and his team. Okay.